today is the day that we leave to Ohio. You excited? Um, you know, I've been saying this for the last two days. I'm excited to get it over with. <laughs> Damn. It's just like, you know, the buildup, but everything is so, it's also high stress. Ready to get first place? No. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna, there's no way. It's just, this is my first Arnold, so I'm not too stressed about it, but there's so many people who are competing in it who've been doing this for a long time now like they've been pros for a minute they like have gone to all these big um, meets uh, for years now and I just I'm I'm glad that I'll be able to even like be there with them and compete on the same stage same platform same like meet uh, so that's cool already but to take first is like let's be a realistic here. High expectations. Hey, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. 10.05, I'm five minutes late, and Abby bit my head off. Um, but no, 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 20 the, minutes, 20 minutes late. We said leave 9.45. All right, all right, now since we're doing camera confessions, how many times have I been late ever? I will say it's not your fault. Okay, thank you. I just we'll get leave stressed. It there. I get stressed in these situations. And then that's why I'm here. <laughs> Calm, cool, and collected, baby. <laughs> uh, you? I don't. I get flight anxiety. I don't. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, like to be on time type of stuff. But yeah, yeah, not yeah. uh Yeah, you're gonna die. I get that from sports. I, I just, I just, we're flowing now. I'm a different guy. <laughs> I'm a different guy. You know? Like water. Ooh. You know? Like water. Like water? One of them, I got them. Be like, like water. water. No, I'm not rapping. I'm talking about <laughs> Bruce Lee. Like a, like. Be like water. Flow around, just. I'm a brick, bro. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Every sense of the yes. word. I'm a brick. <laughs> yes. I know this. I know this. I don't like it. It's not fun. But, <laughs> but that's how just how do you. I turn a brick into water? Who knows? Good luck. <laughs> 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 Hello. What's up? How are you feeling? Mm, tired. Surprisingly full. Just ate a bunch of shit. I don't know. You ate shit? Yeah, I see my rice. It was brown. I put chocolate in my rice. I put, I had chocolate because I can eat chocolate. And it's like low sodium, low fiber right now. So very limited to foods I can eat. But I got white rice. And then I had chocolate flour. And I was like, this white rice is pretty bland. So I took the chocolate inside the rice. And then it got nasty after a while. <laughs> and then just a bunch of liquids. The kid that takes the uh, drink from each drink. <laughs> it's good, I swear, it's good. Try it. I don't know, man. I don't want to sound ungrateful or spoiled or piece of shit. I just there's some about a hotel that I love, and there's some about an Airbnb I don't love. They can't you know? creep on you, bro. They can creep on you. Yeah, I've just felt crept on. Even though this one's fairly nice, and basically because we got the crew, it is cool to like tr travel as like a family. I do enjoy that aspect of it because it's a little different in a hotel. True. So like to travel as the family feels good. We got Abby's coach coming in tomorrow. Like, who's gonna join the family? I've never met him, but Abby knows him. We're in Columbus, Ohio, by the way. I don't even know what time it is. 11 36. Don't look at that logo. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Um, and I'm gonna still crash. So I'm gonna turn on this little Netflix up here, get my little eye mask on, lower the things. Um, but we made it. I haven't been to this thing since 2018. So, about five years, and Jim's probably the same. And the kids in urban here, so we're gonna venture around a good amount. I don't know what's wrong with my backpack; it's stuck. But um, yeah, that's it. So get some sleep in. All we really got is uh, help Abby check in tomorrow. So we'll probably vlog that. I know Jim wants to explore the expo. 
I don't know if I'm gonna explore the expo tomorrow or wait till Sunday. Um, but we'll kind of see where the wind takes us a little bit. A little bit up in there. Hopefully, you guys show you what the Arnold's like. A lot of y'all may be new to the channel. You might be new to the fitness space. And the Arnold is the biggest fitness expo on the planet. This one in particular. They travel now. They have a, you know the Arnold Australia, the Arnold Europe. But this is the original OG Big Dog. So um, I heard it was a little slower than it used to be. It used to be crazy. But um, we're going to catch up and see what it's like. I'll catch you in the morning, man. Day two, technically, Arnold. Day one of us. We got um, Abby kitted up with the uh, grocery store. What'd you get? Rice Krispie treats? Um, uh, yeah, some stuff for tomorrow. Uh, I still have like a gallon, uh, 1.6 gallons today. And then some chips, snacks, whatever, carby stuff for post weigh ins. And the Red um, Bull? Yeah, Red Bull. Red Bull. You got a, a little water cut and a gut cut. So, like, molecular weight of food within like two or three days matters much more than the caloric. Yes, to lose body fat and to lose weight, calories matter. But if you can get the same amount of calories with less literal molecular weight, then it's gonna sit less in your gut. So she'll weigh a little bit lighter. And that's all that matters. She needs calories in and to weigh light. So she can be tomorrow about 11. Uh, we're gonna go get her pass and then probably get stopped by 100,000 homies. And just say, hey, what's up to the people? We were even in the grocery store. Saw Nick from RP, shout out to Renaissance Periodization. Um, and see what's happening. Find, probably find Nadim and uh, JP, and uh, we'll see what the day takes us. Dead middle is pretty packed. Outskirts 2017 was crazy, but inside here, we were rolling with the celebrity named JP, so she gets real crazy. I feel like I'm walking walking through the Emmys with fucking Michael Jackson. Yeah. Motion, we're heading south. We're heading south. We got about 10 minutes, about eight bogeys on the way, but we'll get them there. We'll get them there on time. Abby weighed in 122.7. Poor thing was spitting all weekend, but she Damn. made it. Um, so she's refueling in the back with Coach Mike, uh, Coach Joe. I'm out here being uh, Coach Silent Mike, and I'm really holding down the fort. Our job is important. Yes, we matter. Uh, I'm getting caffeinated to try to get hype. We got a lot of homies lifting this one. Solana, Danny Mello, Avi. Bunch of cool lifters. It's the pro day of the Pro-Am. So literally all these lifters are pro and this is kind of the first two years that there's such thing as pro powerlifting. And basically you have to earn that by winning certain events. Um, I suppose it looks like it's moving actually. Sunday's typically really slow, but it looks like we're live out here. About the same as yesterday, right? Probably for now, yeah. We haven't been in Expo, but we'll see. So we're gonna cheer on Abby, get some food, see what the day brings. We got a bunch of homies that are gonna come kick it and cheer on Abby too, man. Um, a lot of love in our small community. Uh, it's just kind of cool to see. I talked about it when we ran the meet, but it is just so true. Like, we try to live what we preach. We don't just want to like scream out about good company this, good company that, community this, culture that, but um, it's growing. You know, JP and Nadim are out here to help support Abby. And my boy, uh, uh, Pierre Bull fits in town. He's gonna come support Abby. So everyone's kind of come together and we're chilling. I'm gonna chug some caffeine, try to get these waters to the team. Um, enjoy Abby smashing weights, hit the B-roll. What's up vlog? So I'm helping handle Avi right now. I wanted to tell everybody. So going into deadlifts, she's basically tied with a girl. They have the exact same deadlift opener. It's gonna come down to the very last pull. But if Avi pulls this off, she's 
lose and win. So stay tuned, it's gonna be sweet. Man, I already lost my boys here for one homie, but uh, I'd be one, I guess. I think she got first on the Pro-Am, which is dope. This is her second big meet ever, which is insane. Um, and it looked like she had fun, so she's smiling. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time, man. Uh, a little tired, a little emotional, just like being a coach still, even though I'm not her coach. Just like seeing it all gets me a little emotional, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just stoked she had a good time. So we got a fat group with us. Hopefully we'll go eat or chill or see the expo. Give Abby a big old hug. I think she's getting drug tested, but I think she ended up squatting like 560, bench two, hold 430, sorry, not 560, 360. Uh, she absolutely killed it. And all of them RPE eight and a half, nine. Uh, so hopefully she's not too beat up after that cut and everything. So hopefully we'll chat with her. I know we got some footage. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, she went dummy, man. It's finally here. It's all over. <laughs> We're done. I was kind of waiting for this moment for a while now. Um, let's see. The week itself, weekend itself was really, I think, pretty chaotic. And it all moved kind of fast. Like, a lot of it was a blur. Especially because, like, on Saturday, Friday, like, I couldn't relax. Couldn't really do much. And then um, it was mostly to prepare for Sunday. And then after Sunday, everything was just, like, um, I was tired and I still am pretty tired. I woke up this morning, I sat up, I'm like, holy shit, I feel like I got fucking, like, I was telling Mike, I feel like I fell down a flight of stairs, dude. <laughs> so, um, yeah, at this moment, I think I still, maybe when I get back home, home, and I feel grounded, and I'm like, in my room, and it's quiet, and I have nothing to do, nothing to think about, I will finally maybe recap everything in my brain. But as of now, I feel like, you know, we can't relax fully yet because we still need to pack and get out of here. And with a fly back, we have another layover. We're gonna get, it's a long flight day, packing and all that stuff. So um, it's not done done yet until you get home and sleep in your own bed type of thing. And then um, the whole next day, I think it'll just be a recovery, recovery day for the entire team. Like, yeah, I need a minute. After these big meets, like, I never really know how to feel. Um, a lot of times it's confusing, and it's like, I feel like I should be feeling these things. Everyone's asking me, how do I feel? Um, it feels weird to be like, oh, yeah, it's cool. But also, it's like, I think I need a second still. And then, because JP was so excited yesterday asking me, and I'm like, uh, it's like, aren't you, like, how do you feel? I'm like, feel about what? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's cool. And then today he saw me, he's like, did it hit you yet? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, there's a lot to process. Just not only um, the performance itself and, like, the first, the placing and everything, but I think the most that I felt about this emotionally was just how supported I, the support and love from everyone, you know, back home is so cool. Just the love and support right now is what I'm mostly trying to, or mostly feeling and absorbing. As for my performance itself and like, um, how I feel about all of that and the meet and the pro series, we kind of talked about it on the uh, podcast we did this morning, uh, 50% Facts. So yeah, plug. Okay. But if you want to hear more about like, uh, what we said about the federation or just how like this pro meet was ran um listen to that when it comes out i don't know next week or something and um so we talked about that and it gets me thinking like what makes this pro meet what makes it uh, different from like a local meet you know like what do they do for me as this pro who won this like pro series not this pro series they didn't win the pro series but um who won first place at that meet, what does that mean? And like, how did they make me feel as a pro? What does being a pro feel like? And I think it's maybe interesting to hear my insight on that because um, there's not, there's only so many people in the pro, like who is a powerlifting pro, and um, a lot of people don't know about it. I barely know anything about it, so if you could hear my unbiased, or my, my biased opinion, I could shed some light on it, but um, that, got me thinking about some stuff.
But anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this Arnold vlog video. Um, make sure you get your shirts. These are the new ones that are coming out on Tuesday, right? Yeah. Or if you're in the Discord, early access, Time. snag. Because these are going to go fast. Like the ones that the shirts that we do with this quality tee and everything. Like we have some new, like new, good new stuff. So check that out and. The socks and the shorts and the crew neck. Oh, the crew neck is probably my favorite. The crew neck's my favorite. Well, this shirt is my favorite too. Like, just like the neutral. Um, our shirts are just so heavy duty. And um, the crew necks, I love the colors. And then the great layering piece. Sorry, I'm like, okay, that's just, that's that's an aside. Like, that's like, that's, that's my personal um, opinion on it. But um, yeah, make sure you guys um, check me out, avi.lu on Instagram. And um, Nationals September this year so they'll another one's already brewing in memphis tennessee so all right